Good afternoon. Muy buenas tardes. As a Waco High School principal, I am honored to be in this celebration in which we bestow the title of graduate to our youth who have persevered challenges of life and impediments in society. There is a very tangible and well-deserved sense of lion pride here today. And we ask that you please respect everyone's right to enjoy today's celebration. At this time, I'll ask our audience members to please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Waco High Junior ROTC Color Guard and remain standing for the singing of the United States of America National Anthem led by Senior Maya Davis and followed by the United States of America Pledge of Allegiance led by Senior Class President Jordan Blair. The Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Vice President Jordan Blair. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Our junior ROTC color guard is led by Command Sergeant Major Willie Jones and First Sergeant James Hartz. Senior Maya Davis was recently named Outstanding Musician by the University Interscholastic League State Office, so we congratulate her. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the Waco High School Senior 2013 Class President, Devin Scott, who will deliver the welcome address. Devin. Welcome, 
welcome everyone to the Waco High School Class of 2013 Commencement Exercise. First, I'd like to thank my wonderful and outstanding parents, Derek Scott and Janae Gray. Without them, none of this would be possible. Next, I'd like to thank the teachers, administration, board of trustees, and staff of Waco High School. You guys have given us the utmost support and helped us grow into the young adults that you see now. And lastly, the graduates of the class of 2013. Congratulations. Just think, it was only 13 short years ago that we walked into that kindergarten classroom. And now, here we are today, graduates of the class of 2013. We have had our share of times, of good times and bad times throughout the last past four years. Our class has been an emotional roller coaster with Waco High School. I remember our first year in Freshman Academy, carrying around planners and bumping into classmates' shoulders while changing classes in, in one hallway during Freshman Academy. This began our roller coaster ride. We experienced our first tunnel with the passing of Coach Love Davis and Tresman Jackson our freshman year. Their departure brought us into a dark place that many people have never seen Waco High School go through. However, we all came together and helped each other pull through these low points. Everyone knows after a tunnel comes some exciting turns, twists, and dips. We went up a hill when we had our first turn with our sophomore field day. This sophomore field day was the day that we were able to celebrate our accomplishments of passing tax with our peers, and no other class could say that they did so. The roller coaster made a flip with our sports teams turning for the best our senior year. Our varsity football team and girls basketball team both went deep into the playoffs, giving us something to be proud of. Now, today, our roller coaster is coming to a halt. The graduation is where the seatbelts come off and the safety bars rise up. We finally made it, and the coaster has prepared us for the rest of our lives. Now it is time for us to spread our wings throughout the amusement park and ride on the roller coasters, going our own separate paths. From this point on, I believe our lives will change in a very important way. Up to this point, you have had people make decisions for you. Now it is all up to you. A poet by the name of Mary Oliver writes, doesn't everyone die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is your plan to do with your one wild and prestigious life? This is quite a question. One, I, I would suggest remembering every minute of every day of your life. Plan to spread your moment the best way possible because moments lead to days and then to years and together they make up your wonderful life. Remember, every moment counts and go as far as possible. Seniors, this is our moment. This is our day. We started from the bottom, and now we're here. Congratulations, class of 2013. And remember, we are the proud of Waco. Thank you, Devin Scott. Welcome, parents, teachers, friends, and relatives, and above all, the members of the Waco High School class of 2013. To this, the 26 commencement exercises of Waco High School since consolidation. We are so pleased to have with us this afternoon, seated on our stage, our superintendent and members of the Board of Trustees. These are individuals that, although you do not see them every day, they work day in and day out to ensure that we have the resources necessary to educate all students in Waco ISD, and that ultimately every student graduates. And I think that today is a good sign that they have done a great job. I'd like to introduce Dr. Bonnie Kane, Waco ISD Superintendent. <laughs> Mr. Pat Atkins, President of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Alan Sykes, Vice President. Mr. Norman Manning, Secretary. Board Member, Mr. Kerry Dupuy. Board Member, Mr. Larry Pettis. And Board Member, Mrs. Angela Tikel. We also have Mr. Jerry Gibson, Executive Director of Secondary Education. Ms. Robin Wilson, Principal of Brazos High School Credit Recovery Center. 
Mr. Matthew Rambo, Waco High School 2013 Teacher of the Year and Waco ISD Secondary Teacher of the Year. Assisting with our ceremony this afternoon are counselors Patrick Shade, Maria Guadalupe Miller, Janita Beck, Kristen Look, and Dr. Maria Guadalupe Gear. Assisting with the senior processional are the assistant principals, Ms. Lisa Saxinian, Ms. Crystal Wilson, Mr. Philip Perry, Ms. Katina Kelly, Mr. Brandon Cope, and Ms. Daphne Lachison. Senior sponsors are Ms. Susan Giddings and Ms. Natasha Christian. Mrs. Giddings and Mrs. Christian have not only excelled in their classroom teaching, but have also put countless hours outside their teaching assignment to ensure preparations for all senior activities were handled correctly. Thank you. And we also have many of our faculty and staff present today. I would ask that they please stand to be acknowledged. Thank you, Waco High School faculty and staff, for your dedication to our students. Also seated on the stage are the Waco High School 2013 senior class officers, not previously recognized, Secretary Cindy Adias, Treasurer Brooke Williams, and historian Concepcion Garcia. The remaining students on stage comprise the top 5% of your graduating class, and they will be recognized shortly. At this time, I will call upon Board President Pat Atkins to bring brief greetings from the board. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Waco School Board, I want to begin by welcoming the parents family, friends, and community members who have joined us here today for this celebration. I also want to extend a special welcome to the teachers and staff of Waco High who are here today. I want you to know how much you are appreciated and that although we may not always say it, we recognize that you truly are the key to the instruction of our young people. During a uh, TED Talk, that was recorded shortly before his death, Coach John Wooden said this of our teachers, no written word, no spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. Several of you out there have taught my children. You've played a huge part in their growth. You've left an indelible impact not only on my children, but on the fabric that holds our family together. And so on behalf of all the parents who are here today, the administrators seated behind me, and on behalf of your graduates, I want to say thank you. And to the graduates, I just want to share one thought with you. It's probably the best definition of success I've ever come across. I mentioned Coach Wooden a while ago. For those of you who may not be basketball fans or sports historians, Coach John Wooden was the basketball coach at UCLA. His basketball teams won 10 national championships in 12 years. They won seven championships in a row. At one point, they won 88 consecutive games. But here was his definition of success. Coach Wooden said, success is the peace of mind attained only through the satisfaction of knowing you made the effort to do the best of which you are capable. That's it. In everything you do, do your best. Let me close with a poem shared by Coach Wooden. I think it illustrates that point and also captures the spirit of why we're here today. It goes like this. Sometimes I think the fates must grin as we denounce them and insist, the only reason we can't win is the fates themselves that miss. 
yet their lives, their, yet there lives the ancient claim we win or lose within ourselves. The shining trophies on our shelves can never win tomorrow's game. You and I know deeper down there's always a chance to win the crown. But when we fail to give our best, we simply haven't met the test. For who can ask more of a man than to give all within his fan? Giving all, it seems to me, is not so far from victory. And so the fates are seldom wrong, no matter how they twist and wind. It's you and I who make our fates. We open up and close the gates on the road ahead or the roads behind. Don't let others define your success. Do the very best of which you're capable, and you will always make us proud. Congratulations. Thank you, President Atkins. Our first speaker today is a student who is ranked the second highest in your graduating class. The student has exhibited self-motivation and a commitment to academic achievement. She has been a member of the Scarlet Line Drill Team, National Honor Society, Interact Club, International Club and Tennis Team. She is an advanced placement scholar, three-time academic achiever, history state fair qualifier and state school ambassador. She was voted most likely to succeed by her senior class. And outside of campus, she has received the highest honor for the Waco chapter of National Charity League, the Mercy Award. She has also received an Outstanding Youth Citizenship Award from the Waco Rotary Club for her community involvement. She has participated in Team Leadership Waco, Heart of Texas Sweethearts, and the Cameron Zoo Crew. And she will attend Texas Tech University this fall to major in pre-nursing with a grade point average of 104.3991 your 2013 salutatorian is Amy Lynn Daughters. Administrators, Class of 2013. Before I begin my speech, I would like to thank our special guests on the stage for being here today for our graduation. Superintendent Dr. Bonnie Kane, Principal Alfredo Laredo, School Board President Pat Atkins, other school board members, and honored guests. I would also like to thank our parents, friends, teachers, and administrators for helping us to celebrate this very special occasion. Class of 2013, we've done it. 12 years in the making. The many hours of hard work and countless assignments have brought us to this point. Right here on this stage, we will walk up these steps as students and down as Waco High School alumni. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped us achieve this important milestone in our lives. First, I want to start out by thanking our incredible teachers and administrators. You have prepared us amazingly well. You encouraged us to excel and to do our very best that we could possibly do. You planted the seeds of knowledge and imagination for us to grow into the people we are today and the people we have yet to become. We will always rem remember your dedication and sacrifice. Next, I want to thank our parents and mentors. You have put, put our needs and desires ahead of your own for the last 18 years and have been nothing but supportive in pursuing our dreams. We could not have done it without y'all. I seriously cannot thank you enough, Mom and Dad. Last, I want to thank you all, my classmates, for teaching and inspiring me every single day. You have shown me not only how to speed walk to the cafeteria to ensure I have a seat at lunch, but also um, how to work well with others in the countless group projects. Whether it was getting absolutely drenched at the senior picnic, taking way too many pictures in the photo booth at prom with my homegirls, or even burning the enchiladas for a Spanish project with my Spanish three friends, the memories I've made at, quote, the high, unquote, will surely last a lifetime. Thank you all for the best years of my life. Over our high school years, we have been rather accustomed to adversity. I mean, who else can say that with, even with our new head football coach, their team still went three rounds deep in the playoffs? 
And who else can say that their girls' basketball program bounced back to become district champs after a heartbreaking loss of their beloved coach several years ago? But even with all the adversity we have experienced throughout our four years, we have still managed to persevere. Throughout the trials, we have learned so many life lessons that we'll, we will take with us for the rest of our lives. I am so blessed and extremely honored to be a part of the Waco High School Class of 2013. Now I wish I could stand before you and say that I have this breakthrough formula um, as to how to become successful, but I don't. What I do have, though, is two quotes by two uh, very famous men. As Thomas Edison once said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. This is definitely something we can all remember as we embark on our post-high school adventures. Thomas Edison tried over and over again to perfect the light bulb and thankfully never gave up. We will undoubtedly face our share of failures and obstacles in the years to come. This is simply a part of life. How we respond to these failures and adversity, however, will determine our success in the future. And just as Thomas Edison never, never gave up on his goals, the great Michael Jordan also learned from his failures and grew from them. As one of the great, greatest basketball players once said, I failed over and over and over again, and that is why I succeed. He is, he is not afraid to fail and never gives up. I challenge you, the class of 2013, to set goals and do exactly the same as these great men. Your perseverance will pay off. I cannot wait to hear about the incredible things our class accomplishes in the years to come. What an amazing, what an amazing journey it has been. It is now time for us to go our separate ways and set out to accomplish our goals in life. Class of 2013, never stop dreaming. The sky is the limit. May God bless each and every one of you always, and never forget that we are the pride of Waco. Congratulations and go Lions. Thank you, Amy, for your many great gifts and outstanding contributions to Waco High School. Amy is the daughter of David and Lynn Daughters. Mr. and Mrs. Daughters, would you please stand? We join you in the pride you must feel for Amy today. And now we will recognize the graduate with the highest grade point average for your class. Our valedictorian has had many successes in his four years at Waco High School. In addition to his academic success, which has placed him at the top of his class, he has been very involved in extracurricular activities at Waco High. He has been a member of the show choir and a cappella choir, president of the Choir Student Association, two-time member of the TMEA All-State Choirs, three-time qualifier for the Texas State Solo and Ensemble Competition, and was selected as outstanding vocalist in the 2013 competition. Also, last night we heard that he was named outstanding musician by the University Interscholastic League State Office. He was a member of the area qualifying one-act play competition show, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and recognized for all-star all cast in all three levels of competitions. He played the lead in Waco High's past two musical performances, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and Into the Woods. He has served as president of the tailgating committee, member of the varsity tennis, and treasurer of the National Honor Society. Next year, he will attend Trinity University in San Antonio to study either music education or public science and or political science and public policy. In his role as Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, I had the honor as Pharaoh of bestowing upon him the title of my number two. It is now my privilege to bestow upon him the title of number one. With a grade point average of 104.6123, your 2013 valedictorian is Matthew David Reynolds. Thank you, Mr. Laredo. Good afternoon, families, friends, Administrators, Dr. Kane, school board members, teachers, Mr. Wilson, and of course, the Waco High School graduating class of 2013. 
I would like to begin by congratulating each of you who sits in this room today. Not only the graduates, but also the administrators, the school board members, and most of all, our families and our teachers. Whether you are a parent of a student here today or an employee of the Waco Independent School District, in one way or another, each of you has had an astounding impact on the lives of these graduates here today. Parents, without your unending love and faith in us, we never would have made it to this point. Teachers, from day one you believed in us, even when we sometimes doubted ourselves. You have taught us invaluable lessons about the importance of time management, a strong work ethic, and balance, and how to carry those traits into our futures. We would be nowhere without this continuous support. We can't even begin to thank you enough. Finally, I want to congratulate you, the class of 2013. We are here because we have put in four years of hard work, incredible determination, and in many cases, ongoing sleep deprivation at Waco High School. We are here because we have completed this 13-year-long chapter of our lives. We are here to commend our accomplishments as the Waco High School graduating class of 2013. What we must do now is continue this path of greatness. We must aim to find immense success in the world. We must strive to mature and grow into the people we long so desperately to become. Over the past four years, I have really grown to understand what it means to be a part of a community. I felt this overwhelming sense of fellowship on Friday nights when so many people, all confident and bound by the expectation that our team would prevail, would gather together for tailgating and football games. It presented itself in all of my choir, theater, and mock trial endeavors when a group of diverse individuals would come together to achieve a common goal of winning a competition or simply to put on the best production possible. I even experienced this abundantly evident sense of camaraderie in the classroom and singing groups of students working together day after day to finally pass one of Ms. Copes' tests or to understand the bugaboo problems that Mr. Wilson worked for us in calculus. I am increasingly astounded by this community, the class of 2013, which continues to prove people wrong and exceed expectations. In retrospect, I believe that this feeling of fellowship above anything else is what I will carry forward from Waco High. Our Lion Nation demonstrates that when people from all walks of life come together, amazing things can occur. As you go out into the world, I urge you to carry this mindset. Surround yourself with others, fill yourself with dedication, set new goals, and seek to achieve them. Find strong communities of people and do great things. You may hear a number of people say what an important step graduation represents in our lives and that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, outside of high school. However, as Robert Fulgham once stated, the grass is not, in fact, greener on the other side of the fence. Fences have nothing to do with it. The grass is greenest where it's watered. When crossing over fences, carry water with you, and tend the grass wherever you may be. Fulgham stresses that in order to grow, we must carry our past, this water, with us, and learn from our experiences. Going forward, however, it is vital that each of us continue to add to the water that we carry. By gaining more knowledge and always searching to learn, we gain more water and we can tend to more grass thus cultivating ourselves and our lives. Little by little, as we mature, we will attain enough water to tend to great pastures. As commendable as our graduation is, as pivotal as this day is, we must realize that what lies ahead may not be easy. In fact, the hardest days may still be to come. It's impossible to know for sure. What I cannot stress enough to each and every one of you is our obligation to water our pastures. Whichever direction in which we decide to go, we must take an incredible amount of personal responsibility upon ourselves. Otherwise, 
our grass will never grow to its full potential. As you continue to develop and your pastures expand, remember what Ernest Hemingway once said, there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Ernest Hemingway understands that each individual has something incredibly beautiful and unique to offer to the world. We must find and cherish this beauty within ourselves. In the world in which we live, it can become so easy to compare ourselves to those around us. What truly matters is how you live up to yourself. From this point onward, always work to better yourself. Do not be satisfied with the you of high school, because there's still a long way to go. Become better than you were in high school. Be the best you that you can possibly be. Be noble. You may be asking the question, what does this day mean for my life hereafter? It is crucial for us to take the next step. This involves keeping an open mind, always willing to learn, and constantly striving to better but make better versions of ourselves. Remember your experiences at Waco High School and learn from them. But bear in mind that while the past shapes us and we can never forget where we come from, the future holds so much more for all of us. Continue to defy the odds and keep proving people wrong. Surpass the expectations set before you. As this fundamental period of our lives comes to a close, I find it only fitting to close with a quote from someone who has impacted our lives from day one almost, Dr. Seuss. He emphasized that only you can control your future. Grab hold of your future and make your families proud, make your school proud, and most importantly, make yourself proud. Thank you and congratulations again on this astounding achievement. Thank you, Matthew, for your immense contributions to Waco High School. Matthew is a son of Kevin Compton and Carol Miller Compton and David and Dana Reynolds. Would the parents please stand? We congratulate you on Matthew's successes. Ceremonies are an important part of our lives, and the exercise of commencement is a memorable event in your life. It is a time for celebration as well as a time to reflect on what has been and what is yet to come. It is a time to recognize our achievements. This afternoon, we would like to celebrate the Waco High School Class of 2013 Honor Graduates. Listed in the inside first page of the program are the names of those graduates ranking in the top 5% of your class. As I call out their names in the order of their ranking, I would ask for their parents to stand. We have previously recognized our first and second place graduates, Matthew, David Reynolds, and Amy Daughters. Nathan. Nathan Wells, son of Dwayne and Tracy Wells. Reed Cooper, son of Monty and Judy Cooper. Brianna Barrera, daughter of Rogelio and Basie Barrera. Maya Davis, daughter of David and Maggie Davis. Nakia Wilson, daughter of Carmen Hicks and Casey Wilson. Kimon McDowell, son of Hazel Maxwell and Omar McDowell. Kiana Ford, daughter of Tasha Ford and Kenneth Ford. Haley Lee, daughter of Wendell and Tanya Lee. Jason Breeding, son of Tanika Glenn and Jason Breeding. Armando Arzate, son of Romulo Arzate and Eva Jordan. Andrew Brenner, son of Brandon and Christy Brenner. Kristen Shavers, 
daughter of Charles and Leslie Shavers. Megan Urquitz, daughter of Brian and Sherry Urquitz. Justin Shen, son of Susan Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the Waco High School Honor Graduates of the Class of 2013. Waco High School is proud of the academic achievement demonstrated by all of our students. Many of the students today have earned valuable scholarships for higher education and awards that are noted in your program. In fact, just yesterday, we had so many scholarships awarded this year that we were forced to make the font size much smaller in order to include them all. That is how many scholarships and acknowledgments this graduating class had. The graduation regalia includes cords, which denote membership in the various co- and extracurricular activities that are involved here at Waco High School. In addition, students inducted into the Waco High School National Honor Society are wearing white collars with the gold National Honor Society emblem. Seniors, as we honor you, we must also remember the very important people in your lives that gave you the most support, your parents and guardians. Before awarding of the diplomas, seniors, would you please stand and salute your parents. And now, and now seniors, that moment that you have been waiting for. Dr. Kane, President Pat Atkins, would you please join me at the podium? Would all the candidates for graduation please stand? Dr. Kane. As principal of Waco High School, I certify that the students here have either met the state and local requirements for graduation and are eligible to receive a high school diploma or have met the attendance requirements under Senate Bill 673 and are eligible to receive a certificate of attendance. Dr. Kane. As principal of Brazos High School, I certify that the students here have either met the state and local requirements for graduation and are eligible to receive a diploma or have met the attendance requirement under Senate Bill 673 and are eligible to receive a certificate of attendance. President, President Pat Atkins. As superintendent of the Waco Independent School District, and based on the recommendation of principals Mr. Laredo and Mrs. Wilson, I certify that these students, having met the requirements set by the state of Texas and the Texas Education Agency, are eligible to receive their high school diploma or certificate of attendance. Dr. Kane. As president of the Waco ISD School Board, on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the families that we represent, I will accept the administration's recommendation and recognize these students as receiving either a certificate or of attendance or their diploma as the Waco High School Class of 2013. Congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated. Seniors on the stage, you will now go down to the stage entrance. First row, first row graduates, please follow them in line. Calling the names of our graduates this afternoon will be senior sponsor, Mrs. Susan Giddings.
Matthew David Reynolds. Amy Lynn Daughters. Nathan Blaine Wells. Reed Anderson Cooper. Brianna Nicole Barrera. Maya Magdalene Davis. Nakia Danielle Wilson. Kimon Deshane McDowell. Deshawn McDowell. Kiana LaCale Ford. Haley Nicole Lee. Jason Donald Breeding Jr. Armando Arzati. Andrew Don Brenner. Kristen Jean Shavers. Megan Faith Erkfitz. Justin Shen. Devin Terrell Scott. Jordan Garrick Blair. Cindy Abigail Arias. Brooke Darnell Williams. Conception Garcia. Marissa Abad. Dwight Lincoln Abrahams, Jr. Crystal Acuna. Brandy Lynn Adams. Derek Dwayne Allgood. Jasmine Almanza. Arlene Amador. Isaac Damon Anderson. Adrian Andrade.
Bianca Estela Arias. Lizette Arjan. Layla Mayela Avila. Christopher Baez. Stanton Evans Bain. Matthew Joseph Balzaldua. Shakitha Lachey Bisham. Stephen Beck, Jr. Gregory Wayne Beltran. Leo Berry, Jr. Mitchell Billings. Shamaya Shante Latrice Blake. Mauro Bocanegra. Ernest James Bogus. Sir Michael Prince Branch. Trayvon Brooks. Shaheem Kadeem Bell. Deordrick Darian Brown. Tyshiana Brown. Karina Bulgarin. Tydrick O'Neill Busby. Cheyenne Denise Butler. Ashley Renee Kane. Keenan O'Shea Savon Calhoun. Rosa Campos. Pablo Guillermo Carrion. Ricardo Carrion. Cherise Monique Carter. Richard Anthony Carvajal. Pedro Israel Castillo. Emmanuel Suarez. Kristen Jewel Chapman.
Darnesha Lynette Clark. Justice Charvictory Clark. Maya Marie Clark. Brandon Sean Collum. Marcella C. Comenares. Joey Bernard Conway, Jr. Alejandra Cordero. Gabriela Elizabeth Cornejo. Darian Eugene Curry. Carlos Wayne Daniels II. Samantha Jean Daniels. Michael David Davenport Jr. Manuel Davila Jr. Jacob Wesley Davis. Lamarian Davis. Alfredo De Leon. Taylor Lee Dean. Ladarius Dominique De Great. Kiara Marie DeLeo. Taylor Renee Diamond. Benjamin Diaz, Jr. Devin Darrell Dixon. Lakeisha Dixon. Sierra Joyce Doss. Cheryl Druitt. Zaina F. El Halabi. Roberto Enriquez III. Josue Estrada. Byron Keith Evans, Jr. Diamante Jari Evans. Christopher Allen Fagner. Christopher Francis Foytek. Tamir Manuel Fraga. Sherelle Sinead Franklin. Tiffany Lynn Franks.
Sabrina Fuentes. Heather Chanel Gabbert. Brandon Marcel Gaines. Troy Carius Gaines. Nathan Ray Goller. Yasmin Garay. Alyssa Renee Garcia. Gabriela Garcia. Matthew Cruz Garcia. Pasqual Jose Garcia. Renee Consuelo Garcia. Jameer Kyrie Garner. Kelton Shaquille Gassaway. William Mark Gibson. Antoniqua Gill. Tashe Jindrat. Meredith Ivy Ginsburg. Tamara Gibbons. Martha A. Gonzalez, Valeria Alejandra Gonzalez Castro, Austin Taylor Franklin Gora. Giovante Jovan Gray Mason. Prishani Audra Renee Green. Rocio Elizabeth Gutierrez. Rolando Gutierrez. Victoria Marie Gutierrez. Erica Nicole Hall. Dermonte Kevion Harris. Spencer Lynn Harris. Johnny Terrell Helms. Khadija Brianna Henderson. Dustin Mason Henry. Edgar Hernandez. Manuel Hernandez. Esteban Herrera. Jeffrey Daniel Herrera.
Pereira. Tamara Ray Siobhan Higgs. Russell Colton Holford. Akira Shakur Hooper. Shakir Hooper. Jacques Keon Hopkins. Keatrick Deshaun Hopkins. Eduardo Jaimez. Guadalupe Aramillo. Adrian Jesso. Deron Darnell Jefferson. Lauren Allison Jester. Alexander William Johnson. Janiquo Johnson. Terry Wayne Johnson. Austin Taylor Jones. Chelsea Diane Jones. Destiny Nicole Jones. Monica Natalia Juarez. Dominique Lizette Keeley. Sharice Danielle Kemp. Damon Deandra Kaiser. Kamisha Deshaun Lambert. Cameo Teta Chanel Lang. Taylor Alexander Lang. Nicholas Ryan Langdale. George A. Laura. Yesenia Lorez. Andrika Denise Laws. Keon LaCharles Lewis. Caitlin Aileen Lyles. Prisone Trenise Lincoln. Giovanni Corral Lizardo. Quanisha Nasha Long. Ray 
Stephen Simone Long. Colbert Murphy Long the fifth. Carlos Martin Lopez. Yuri Melendez Lopez. Rachel Nicole Williams. Adrian Elias Laredo. Julio Laredo. Charles Rene Lott. Luis David Loses Huelvas. Tessa Bell Lucky. Brendan Taylor Ludiker. Myra Karina Luna. Catherine Allison Lynch. Daisy Diaz Madrigal. Augustine Maldonado. Jovita Maldonado. Marissa Isabel Maldonado. Anissa Brianna Elizabeth Marshall. Lucretia Rashawn Marshall. Andres A. Martinez. Denicia Nicole Martinez. Carla Martinez. Vanessa Martinez. Carlos Roberto Tito Martinez. Raquel Monique Mason. Daisha Mays. Shakur Shante McCreary. Paula Jr. Faith Marie McDowell. LaShannon Latrice Monique McKinney. Broderick Dion McNeil Jr. Jericia S. Means. Myra Itzel Medina. Morgan Mendez. Vincent Andrew Minor. Tanya Montes de Oca. Sierra Elizabeth Montgomery. Aaron 
Lee Moody. Devion Green Moore. Trene Yvonne Moore. Priscilla Morales Solorzano. Alyssa Marie Moreno. Caleb Nathaniel Moreno. Kanisha Laquel Mosley. Erica Jacqueline Mergia. Maria Elena Maria. Christian D. Neither. Adrian D. Norwood Jr. Akira Idel O'Neill. Juan Carlos Ortiz. Claudia Vanessa Ortiz Aguilar. Joshua Thomas Owens. Zazil Ixon Pacheco. Joseph Robert Pack III. Catherine Elaine Parker. Angel Isaac Partida. Sheila Asmara Patlin. Barbara Alexandria Patterson. Joy Lynn Antoinette Pearson. Nestor Oziel Pena. Andrea Perez. Carolina Perez. Marcos Antonio Perez. Bang Chi Pham. Jessica Pinion. Armani Janae Pittman. Joshua Michael Porter. Shamon Proctor. Arturo Quintero. Samuel Benjamin Reigns. Carissa Marie Ramirez. Sandy Maricela Ramirez. Juliana Ramirez. Danielle Paula Ramos.
Rolando Daniel Ramos. Destiny Denise Randall. Kirsten Nicole Ray. Miranda Ashley Reed. Brandon Relaford. Sierra Leah Reyes Tovar. Broderick Grimes. Ryan Brady Richards. Corey Ray Richardson, Jr. Jaime Rivera, Jr. Toby Gabrielle Rivera. Frederick Corey Roberts. Kazikwa Lachey Robinson. Dazon Lawrence Robinson. Kaviana Dorshan Robinson. Lewis James Robinson the fourth. Omar Emmanuel Rocho Romero. Ziamara Julissa Rodas. Justin Zachariah Rodriguez. Christina Danielle Rodriguez. Daisha Siobhan Ross. Alfredo Alexander Carranza. Victor Alfonso Vereda. Samantha Paige Ruiz Gonzalez. Mary Edith Russon. Aisa Samana Lopez. Laura Michelle Sanchez. Alejandro Santos III. Jose Angel Santos. Alicia Monte Scott. Morgan Lane Shaver. Kelsey Nicole Lee Shavers. Edith Silva.
Deandria Denise Simmons. Karina Solorio. Abriska Deandra Nache Spurlock. Carl Steiner II. Padre Stokes. Marilyn Suarez. Sadie Denise Swain. Daryl Ray Tatum. Linda LaShawn Taylor. Matthew James Teagle. Nathan Carl Thomas Jr. Therese James Thomas. Jaime Torres Jr. Jose Torres Jr. Jose Ivan Trevino. Tyler Nicole Trevino. Daryl A. Tut. Blanca Vasquez. Precious Vega. Jonathan Lloyd Vela. Derek Montrell Walker. Xavier Bernard Walker. Shay West. <laughs> Stephen Corey White. <laughs> Hiram Israel Williams. Kiara Williams. Ricky Williamson. Jesse Lee Williamson. Darian Lane Willingham. <laughs> Stefan Woods. <laughs> Darius Jamal Wright. Nicolette Angelique Young. (laughs) 
Shantasia Trine Carr. Viri Diriana Bocanegra Ramirez. Graduates, 2013 graduates. <laughs> to signify that you have participated in the commencement exercises of Wake the Waco High School class of 2013, at this time, please move your tassel from your right to your left. I present to you the Waco High School class of 2013. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before the recessional, let us now join, let us now join in the singing of the Waco High School alma mater led by our graduates and our acapella concert choirs. Parents, at the very bottom, at the middle of your back program, we have the words to our alma mater. Please join in. After the singing of the alma mater, we will recess beginning from the front rows for the diploma dispersal.